Walther LG400 Alutech Expert. 4.5 millimeter caliber, 600 shot magazine with a carbon barrel jacket and two stage dry firing trigger. Hi, my name is Juri Kimura. I'm 16, and this is my gun. <laughs> I know, it sounds scary. If you told me four years ago that I would be owning a gun, I would have been disgusted with myself. I would have labeled the person I am now as scary or irrational just because of something I own. Now, I stand here before you asking for your judgment. Do I satisfy your expectations of what a gun owner should be like? Am I too young, too short, too girly to be holding a gun? This is what happens in real life. We hear something that makes us uncomfortable, and we try to find a way to justify that discomfort in our head. Preconceptions are neurobiological. Once embedded and associated with different pathways in our brain, it is incredibly difficult to change these notions. I found a comic that helped explain this. The brain builds a house out of its preconceptions and protects it from trespassers, anything foreign, by building a wall of judgment. It shields us from the unfamiliarity, the unexpectedness of reality. But we're so focused on building our wall that we don't even notice that our house is just a tiny, pathetic shack. We build a wall to keep others out, and we end up shutting ourselves inside an echo chamber that simply reinforces our preconceived beliefs. I struggled with this. Maybe you do too. This is my journey of how I learn what curiosity can do to the barriers that we create. So, in seventh grade, I had a debate on gun control. I had one stance and one stance only. I hated guns. I refused to think any other way. All I knew was that the US and Japan were very different in their approach to guns. At first, I thought that guns were completely illegal in Japan. I was shocked to find out that there were gun owners here. I wanted to know for myself why Japan was so safe despite gun ownership. This curiosity drove me to visit the rifling coach at a nearby public sports institution. He invited me to one of their annual public rifling events. Now, here, I expected to meet die-hard gun lovers. And by that, I mean the stereotype of I sleep, I eat, I live with my gun by my side types of people. But they were polite, cautious, compassionate, which didn't align at all with my image of a gun owner. After meeting them, I realized I was the one building the barrier between me and them. Judgments were the bricks I used to build this wall between my preconceptions and reality. I was scared to find the similarities between me and the people and things I felt different, distant from but I was going to prove myself wrong. So I took on rifling as a sport. So I started off with a beam rifle in my first year, which emits laser beams at the target. But my goal wasn't just to have a toy gun. It was to satisfy this curiosity about guns around the world. And for that, I needed a gun I could compete globally with. I chose the Walther LG400. Now, I thought, it's just a sporting rifle. It can't hurt anybody. You just go into the gun store, run some background checks, and buy a gun. I was completely wrong. The application process was rigorous, to say the least. Just to apply, I needed to get rank three accuracy with my beam rifle, which is around average 9.1 shots, 9.1 points per shot for 60 shots straight. The bullseye is a 10, and anything inside of that line is a 9. You can imagine how hard that is from 10 meters away. After a psych psychiatrist appointment, an interview with the police, a multi-step background check, and a year of tedious processes, I finally got my air rifle. I never expected what I would find behind the curtain of Japan's safety. 
I was stepping into a world I wouldn't have known if I hadn't had the curiosity to take that step outside of my shack of preconceptions into reality. However, my first ever rifling competition, I got disqualified. And that's because while I was trying to disassemble my gun, I turned it towards the audience. <laughs> there was still a lot I had to learn. Now, three years in, I have won second place in Japan for under 15 riflers and trained in the National Olympic Training Center. But there's still so much I want to learn. I want to become a global level rifler so I can gain a voice credible enough to share the things I've learned from being curious. I want to learn the little things about different countries' gun laws and gun culture so that I can share that with the world. If we get over these judgments, this defensive pointing of fingers, and let ourselves be curious, there's a lot we can learn from one another. But still, it's easy to let judgment be an excuse. After all, it's an aspect of human nature, and that's okay. But the part that makes us change makers is the ability to let curiosity overpower judgments. Once it does that, curiosity lets in a flood of unfamiliar knowledge that destroys our preconceptions by proving it all wrong. But that's okay. It's important to break down and rebuild our preconceptions. We need to restructure the way we expect things to work. We need to absorb different and diverse viewpoints in order to rebuild our shack. Now, first, to do that, though, we need to get through our barrier. And for that, we need something equally powerful to judgment, curiosity. The world offers a lot for us to explore. It doesn't have to be guns, it can be anything. Try something that makes you feel vulnerable, feel uncomfortable. Take a new dance class that you thought you were a little too uncoordinated for or talk to somebody new who you thought was way too different to match with. If you like or dislike something, try to find out more about it. Who knows, you may be embarking on a journey, a lifelong journey, to find out whether your opinions were right or wrong. No one is too young, too old, too different, too anything to be curious. Remember, this is just an excuse that we've gotten used to making. Let curiosity break these barriers. Thank you.